Cue the dramatic music. Here we go, man. Five, four, three, two, one. I don't know why I do these polar plunges. Uh, it started about three years ago and we lived in Oregon up on the northwest coast and I made a commitment to get into the ocean at least once a month year round and then with the recent move to Wisconsin I thought about it and I decided to keep it going so um, we, we've got some hard months coming up here of, of winter we got Lake Superior up here and I'm gonna try to keep keep the monthly polar plunge going it's a, it's a good efficient physical challenge there's lots of science that shows it's it's good for you in different ways. Um, basically, what they say is if if your body can handle the stress of a swim in negative ten degrees, you you can handle the stress of um, other things that life may throw at you. There's the sauna. Let's go help Andres get it fired up. There's a lake we'll be jumping into. It looks warmer than it is. <sighs> there he is. And the myth of legend Andres. <laughs> Getting the sauna started. Yes, sir. Plan is to let the, the sauna heat up for a couple hours. We haven't even started making the hole in the ice. That'll be next, but. It usually takes about an hour, but this time it's probably going to take two, two and a half hours since it's like, what, negative 12 outside? Yeah, we need to, we need to get this thing steaming. Mm -hmm. Sauna smoking. All right, we've got the sauna going. Um, now it's time to get some tools and get that hole in the ice. So we've got a chainsaw there and we've got some ice chisel so let's see what we can do. I'm gonna go down grab a shovel just see what we're working with for the jump area. A beautiful place in the summer. But I'm trying to learn how to appreciate the winter too otherwise it's a long year. There we go. Dock. In the dock, this will be about chest deep water out here. And this is the plan to kind of make a hole right there. Do a quick dip. You can see the, the sauna there up on the top of the hill and the house. So it's uh, get as warm as we can stand it in the sauna, run down, jump in the water, get back in that sauna. All right, we've got the area shoveled. Feels like some pretty thick ice. Um, you can see some tracks. Uh, snowmobiles have been driving on the ice probably today. Um, I don't know how thick it's gonna be. We'll find out, I guess, once we get the ice picks and the chainsaw in there. All right, I'm just gonna poke at this a bit. Oh, all right, we're getting some water. This is crazy. Absolutely. Oh, man. I'm down there. Probably a good five, six inches. Still haven't hit the lake yet. Oh. Getting there though. Some water's broken through. Oh, gosh. Oh, 
Oh, we're in. All right. Holy cow. All right, just with that little ice chisel and a shovel, we got down to water. Haven't felt it yet. Let's go. Just waiting on Grandpa to come out with the chainsaw, but it's a start. I'm gonna go check the sauna now. I don't see it smoking, but hopefully it's getting nice and hot. Might be time for a new log. Whew. Nice thing is getting this all prepped. Actually warms up your body quite a bit. There's Andres. Same idea as me, check the sauna. Yes sir. Alright, put another log in there. I got I got down to water. It's like eight inches of ice. <laughs> <laughs> How long did that take? I don't know. It's, it's, it's getting the sweat going for me, huh? Ooh, she's burning oh, yeah. good. We're burning good. Nice, nice sir. Alright, oh, we're getting close to go time. Not too close, but getting there. Getting there. Alright, here comes Grandpa with the chainsaw. There's the hole so far. <laughs> Swimsuits and towels in the sauna. The hole is set. I forgot to record the finished hole. Just found out that Andres is bailing on me, but he did say he's gonna help with the video from now on, so that's good. All right, walking on the deck here. There it is. Nice big hole. Just dug it a couple minutes ago and already got a thin layer of ice on there. Oh, it's going to be cold. Alright, this is getting real now. Let me get that thin layer of ice off. Oh, Alright, the hole's all set. Now it's time to get in that sauna, get warmed up for the jump. It's your boy Andres over here. And I'm going to be videotaping Bob out there as he plunges into the depths of the cold, cold water on January 1st, 2022 in Northern Wisconsin. Let's go. All right, ready? Ready. Let's go. Uh, cue the dramatic music, here we go. Ooh, right behind you. Put my slides on. I'm okay. Right. <laughs> oh, jeez. Click like and subscribe for under. Broken butt surgery. Are you okay? I'm okay. Oh, damn. Are you under? Yeah. Five. Are you good? I'm gonna go real tight You're in here. You're gonna go over there in that corner? Yeah. Okay. Five, cool. four, three, 
two, one. Woo! Yes, sir. Not bad, not bad. Yes, sir. Not too bad. There we go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right. Could have done without that one. <laughs> yes, sir. Not a first shark. He's going back up. He's gone. Bye, Bob. 2022! Go, let him go! Yeah! Woo! Woo. <sighs> yes, sir! That's how it's done. Yes, sir! Nothing too bad. No, not at all. All right, a little post jump sauna, feeling really good. It was actually not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Hence the second jump there, I could have stayed in longer. The one I did last month, where I waded into Lake Superior, that was before the snow, but that was a lot more uncomfortable than this one. Um, I'm gonna do this every month, so I'll do another one in February. I'm hoping to do a fundraiser for the Special Olympics on that one. And then I'll do another one in March. And also gonna be looking for a Special Olympics fundraiser on that one. Um, if you like this video, I feel like I should tell you that you should like it and subscribe to the channel. We'll have new videos coming out every Saturday. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.